Good morning. This is Good News Friday. I think that things are moving faster these days with the crisis. Yeah. I have been impatient for many years, frustrated. You see, I know you have been too. Yeah, we want mainstream media to struggle. We want uh, the globalist politicians to be exposed and gone. We want the EU to fall and so on, right? But it's not, not been fast enough. But now, with the crisis, it's speeding up. That's my experience. Uh, people turning away from mainstream media, this is key. And it's happening. Uh, one of the worst papers in Sweden, Aftonbladet, uh, they're having huge problems now with the crisis. People don't buy the paper. And the advertisers don't advertise. So they have to let people go. They have to save, you see. Mm, it's good. And you know, all these main broadcasters are having uh, problems like BBC, CNN and so on. And CBC in Canada, this is what I heard. Uh, their ratings is terrible. And I was watching a video this morning. That's why I mentioned CBC. Yeah, Rosemary Barton. I'm sure you Canadians you know about this woman. Uh, she was interviewing a young student and she asked him what he wants to do and he said he wanted to do farming and this despicable woman rosemary barton she started to giggle wow what a piece of crap woman <laughs> yeah i will post a link below the video so you can watch it if you want yeah, she started to giggle uncontrollably. What an arrogant piece of shit. Yeah. And about the corona crisis, uh, there, there are now new estimates on mortality rate. This is now changing quickly. Uh, it used to be 5% mortality rates and or t even 10%. You know. But now with new data, new surveys, new research, uh, it's down to maybe one-tenth of a percent or maybe two-tenths of a percent. This is what I hear. So it um, seems that these lies about the crisis, they are now exposed and it, and it was quick, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, you remember, of course you remember this, uh, the climate change Thing. Uh, this was exposed as well as being lies, right? But it took a very long time, didn't it? But now people understand that it, these were lies. Yeah, most people do, I think. Well, people know that the sea level didn't rise by 20 feet. They know that the Maldive Islands, they are still there, see? And the temperature is shifting. Uh, it's now it's sort of getting cooler. So these were lies. And people were supposed to believe them, of course. But when people didn't believe them anymore, it seems like uh, we were now supposed to believe this one, this lie about the corona crisis. And now it's being exposed so quickly. I wonder what's next. What will they do next? Uh, people have to have something to believe in. Some lies, right? To forget the old lies. Yeah. All right. Uh, finally, I want to talk about Italy. Uh, there's a big chance Italy will leave the currency, the euro. There's more and more talk about this and leaving the union as well the European Union. Uh, top politicians, not just Salvini, are talking about it. They don't want to end up like Greece. No. So, it's a big chance. They will leave and it can happen very soon. That's the thing. Yeah, I'm optimistic about this. Hmm. So, what, do, what will it mean? Well, these pampered 
bureaucrats in Brussels, they can start packing because if Italy leaves, that's the end of it. Yeah. That's right. So that's all. Uh, I wish you a great weekend. Bye.